This is Ryan at Utah Pirate Radio, and I'm just uh, uh, getting my day off, first time uh, in a week. So I've been able to sit down and watch the news and follow up on all of the campaigns and the initiatives and propositions and, um, and you know, who got in and who got out and all that. Um, I was excited to hear that Massachusetts got um, marijuana decriminalized. So if you get or if you get caught with marijuana, uh, you will not get arrested. You will not go to jail. Um, instead, you'll get a fine of a hundred dollars that you can pay by mail. Are you freaking kidding me? And I used to get fined two thousand five hundred dollars in Utah for a Class B misdemeanor possession of marijuana. Max, go lay down. And. Uh, Jail time was always included in the suspension of my license for six months. Can you believe that? That happened to me three times. Three times. From the time I was 17 until the time I was 21, I had three arrests for marijuana in Utah. So, you know, uh, and, and I would go there, I would get arrested, I would leave, I'd go to Washington. Sometimes I'd get found with marijuana because I was, I was uh, transient, I was homeless. Um, you know, so I'm always getting spoken to by the police, getting woke up, you know, at a park or, you know, in, a, in an abandoned house that we called a squat or whatever. And I'd get arrested for marijuana in Utah um, constantly and have huge fines and go to jail and spend, you know, time and uh, uh, community service and all that other stuff when I'd get arrested for marijuana. But these guys in Massachusetts are spoiled. I can't believe this. This is awesome that they don't get arrested for marijuana now. And their fine is $100. It's like a speeding ticket. I, I've actually paid more for speeding tickets. I paid $160 for a 20 over in Utah just like a year and a half ago. Two years ago, anyway. Um, so it's just crazy. I love this. And, uh, you know, the, the thing about gay marriage in California or anywhere else, it's like, why are people worried about other people's relationships? I mean, is it their problem that, you know, Jack and Jack or Kim and Kim are getting married? I don't care. Uh, I heard a, a commercial or uh, maybe it was a campaign line, but it said, if you're so damn worried about other, uh, no, if you're so damn worried about gay marriage, don't have one, right? <laughs> That's all it takes. If you don't want gay marriage, don't have one. <clears throat> you know, if we start taking the rights and freedoms away from our fellow citizens, you know, based on some sort of classification, we're doing that to everybody. We're, we're, we're giving, we're opening up the doors to violate everybody's civil rights. You know, it's wrong that we have any say in somebody else's marriage. You know, I I love my wife and I cherish her and we'll be married forever and it's a straight heterosexual relationship and it, you know, defines um, how I feel about my wife, who's my best friend. But, you know, for me to say that you can't get married based on whatever orientation you are is like me saying you know, you can't be married because you're white. You can't be married because you're from Utah. You can't be married because, you know, I, I think that's wrong. And that's what I've said about polygamy, too. I don't agree with Mormonism in the slightest bit. The distinct, unique Mormon doctrines, I reject. And I'm a, you know, I follow Jesus. I'm a disciple. Um, but when it comes to Mormonism, I totally reject it. But when it comes to the law um, imposing rights, you know, or imposing laws against people and violating their rights, I don't agree with it. I think that people should be allowed to be married in a polygamist relationship. Um, I don't agree with polygamy at all. I don't agree with Mormon doctrine, like I said. But I do agree that people should be able to marry whoever they want. And for Mormons to rally in support for Proposition 8 is disgusting. It's absolutely sick. That they struggle so much that um, 
they wanted their rights and they struggled so much for those rights for polygamy they moved to a different state four or five times over um, to avoid you know laws and penalties against them and they struggled and they struggled and finally they gave up, they gave up an uh, everlasting let's say everlasting quote unquote um, doctrine right the doctrine of celestial marriage or of plural marriage which are you know, you know, interconnected. They're one and the same. They gave that up, and and so now they have a new type of celestial marriage, where you know a man and a woman get married in the temple, but this just one man and one woman. It's not how the original celestial marriage was. So I mean, the Mormons had to give up their rights. Um, in 1890, they uh, Wilford Woodruff wrote the Polygamy Manifesto, which ended polygamy for Mormons even though he and Lorenzo Snow and other, you know, Mormon leaders took more wives afterwards, you know, it was a, it was a polygamy manifesto that ended it for everybody else. And, uh, you know, they, they were in fear of losing their, their uh, state. I mean, they were going to be denied statehood and the government had sent an army and they were going to take over and take care of the Mormons. And, uh, you know, the Mormons you know, fought and, and uh, you know, and they stood their ground there and they ended up having a victory that, you know, the, their state wasn't taken away at least, but shortly after that they had to end polygamy. So that they're against Proposition 8, that's such a hypocritical thing. I mean, that just disgusts me. Um, wow, yeah, I can't believe that. But uh, yeah, at mpp.org, you can see all of the new marijuana initiatives and propositions and uh, things that have passed, um, a couple of bills. But uh, yeah, mpp.org. Oh, and, and uh, just a final thing. I, I love Democracy Now! This is Democracy Now! This is about that whole, you know, Proposition 8 thing. And this is, this is pretty messed up. But check this out.
I don't understand how they can not support or at least rally against somebody who has a strange marriage when Mormons were forced to give up one of their strange marriage practices about 110 years ago. You know, it's 120 years ago anyway. Um, it's just not right. It's not right that they would rally against, you know, these people who want their rights when that's all Mormons wanted. All those times they moved around, it's just sad. It's just sad. They, they were forced from like four different states because people didn't like their political